Team Rising and Prospering is what it stands for. It's my son's organization, so, and he came with the idea, you know, wanting to do something positive. So for me to hear the name and knowing where I come from, uh, every day of my life I traveled. It was sun up, sun down. So for 10, over 10 years straight. So when you say that, it's like, okay, that's, that's real serious. You know, ain't no plan. It, it's, it's, it gotta be something that's you know, dead serious because we risk our lives every day being in the trap. So at the same time, these youth are risking their lives every day being out here in this big trap. The world is a trap, right? The hood is a trap. The whole, it ain't just a door, you know, closed in. So for, for me to hear that, and others that have heard it that come from that same lifestyle, it raises an eyebrow like, oh man, what are you, what are you talking about? Okay, so you're doing the opposite though. We're trying to pull you up out the trap, pull you up out the streets, pull you up out of uh, you know, living you know, this life of crime or just not being home. You know, these youth out here you know, scattered like wildfire, but they got parents. You know, they, still, they got mama somewhere, they got a daddy somewhere. You know, and the mamas can't handle it. So what's the best thing to do? I've always heard that the youth will raise themselves. You know, when we won't, they will raise themselves and that's what's happening right now. So, the, so with him coming with, with something positive, he'd be able, he's in a good position to teach the other youth or train youth up. Cause we, he getting training from home regardless, you know. So his training will go into the other youth. And if he can build up an army, you know, of youth that are, uh, you know, rising and, and prospering. The, it, that'll make the other youth opposites attract, you know. So the other youth will see, I don't have to be out here. I can still kick it. I can still have money. I can still, you know, you just gotta work. You know, that's the only thing. And, and at the end of the day, work, it's still work, regardless of what we're doing. If you're out here risking your life, you're working, you know, you're just working in the wrong cause, you know, so you're still working, you're putting your life, you know, you don't got to put your life on the line, you, you know, I ain't, I ain't, I will never, I won't, I won't encourage no one to be a police officer, but they are putting their life on the line, you know, for crime, for them, you know, to lock them up. So we need to reverse that. We can, you got something for you to do, you got a talent. You have something you can prosper in. You just gotta get your mind right. So, you know, with, with uh, Christian uh, and Trout, that's the main ex objective is to, to, to make a safe environment, you know, for youth to uh, be able to uh, still enjoy life, have parties, uh, have, you know, learn etiquette, uh, learn, uh, you know, a way of life, you know, how you treat a woman, you know, how to, how, you know, how to treat your brother, you know, all of this. These things are being taught and in, in, in trap. Hey, check this out, Christian. And I say this all the time to you, you know, life is real and it's short, you know. The, the last thing I would want to see is you get caught up in anything negative, you know, being influenced by the wrong crowd, or allowing someone to influence you to do anything. I want you to use your own God-given talents. You know, when someone asked me when I was locked up, you know, is it best to be influenced? What did they say? Best to be influenced or uh, basically talked into doing something? And I said, uh, neither one. You know, I should have my, made up my mind what I should be doing. Now I have a creator. God created me to do something, so I need to go to him to find out what's in me. So there's something in you that you should be doing, son. And the only thing the only thing can bring it out is for you to get with God and stay dedicated to whatever he's telling you to do. If you fall off or veer any left or right off of that, you off the path. So son, stay on the path, man. We need soldiers like you. We need soldiers like you to go get the you, to stand up next to you, to go get some more you, and then have a village of you doing righteousness and building for yourself. Do for self.